there's more than one way of showing that some random variable converges in probability to something and in this example Chebyshev's inequality solves this problem pretty neatly so let's look at this we have a sequence of random variables being binomial distributed with a number of trials n which is different for each random variable at p being the same so y1 will have be binomial 1p, i.e. it's Bernoulli, y2 will be binomial 2p, and so on. I want to prove that this 1 of n times the random variable, sequence of random variables, converges in probability to p. So from the definition, it means I want to show this, the probability that this random variable from, it, difference from its thing that's converges to bigger than some epsilon bigger than zero, any epsilon bigger than zero, tends to zero as n tends to infinity. Okay, well this is a random variable, let's just call it xn. Then see that since yn is binomial, then xn is going to be a rescale binomial, i.e. it's going to be a binomial but with the points 0, 1 over n, 2 over n all the way to 1. That's not actually going to be important here, but I just added that. What is important is to note the following that the expected value of xn you can see since it's related to ym which is binomial is going to be p and this p parameter is constant remember parameters are constants uh, in these types of problems variance of xn similarly using the variance operator rule n squared times the variance of yn comes to this Again, that is a constant because it's a function of n and p which are parameters constants. Then we recognize the following that this random variable xn has a mean of p and basically it matches this left hand side of this uh, in this absolute sign and that suggests using Chebyshev's. So from Problem 32, we proved Chebyshev's inequality. So consider a random variable x, it's got a finite variance, it's constant. Uh, let's just m let mu denote its mean. Then Chebyshev's inequality states this, that this here is bounded by, upper bound by its variance over epsilon squared, epsilon is any value greater than zero. So if you look at this and you look at the question, it's pretty much the same thing. So Let's just replace this by our question, our xn minus its mean, which we showed was p, bigger than epsilon, just copy that down. What is the variance of uh, xn? We showed it was this guy here. So I'm just simply just substituting, just matching it up with the Chebyshev's inequality, that's epsilon there. I've just separated these two up because I want to show you that this, uh, oh sorry, this block here, I've written, rewritten it over down here, is a constant because it's just p's parameter, epsilon is for any given epsilon bigger than zero. So this is fixed and then we let n tend to infinity. Well 1 over n as n tends to infinity and the limit is going to tend to zero and that's what we wanted to show. So this Chebyshev's works because the thing, the random variable we're looking at, what is it tending to? Uh, it's tending to some constant and that constant is the mean of the sequence of uh, the random variables. That's when this works. Okay, so that's uh, an example and uh, I'm going to do more examples on these convergence and probability type questions, so look out for them.